subscribers on this short tutorial i'm going to be showing you how you can create a download a direct download link on your website or web page so i'm going to test this in two browsers mozilla and google chrome we shall just write an attribute called download an attribute called download go ahead and click save so when you click save first of all i'm going to show you how it looks like before writing that code that's how it looks and looks fake the user cannot go with your files or that i wanted them to save so we are going to go ahead and re refresh so that the browser picks up the code we have written here so when i go back and click download you can see the dialog the download dialog box it is displayed for the user to either open with or save it somewhere for now i'm going to press cancel we shall also test it in google chrome when you click save our file will automatically save here hope you can see it if you're not able i can also help you with that when we click download you can see our downloads are being saved so click here go to the recent downloads you actually see our downloads we have made and for now they are called bip 4 bip 3 have been <laughs> This phase you're seeing the pause. I've been doing this same um, tutorial over and over again. So, if, in case you want to customize the file name, when the user clicks it, like here, it shows bip.mp3. If you want to customize that name, just go back to our code. Just go back to our code. Click assign. So, I will call it. Austin code cipher so that's it that's the name I'll give it so reload the browser when I try to download it it will show you will see that the file name has been changed to Austin code cipher so I'll save my file yeah I feel like see this will be our file saved so I'm wondering what is the name of this code oh the file is beep so since I have used beep go and saw on use your beeps so that we get fun playing with the beep and subscribe to my beep button